Of course, I called in Tawny to be my, not only my lip liner today, but also my pointer, and she happily obliged because Tawny just never lets us down. You know what I mean? Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a palette review for y'all today, and it's on one that I picked up recently from BH Cosmetics. This is the Bronze Paradise Eye and Cheek Palette. And I'm actually showing you the outside box because the palette itself is ridiculously reflective and you would be seeing all of my lights and it would just be a whole crazy situation. So I'm showing you the outside box because it's a little bit less reflective, but anyway, we can start with that. This is the outside packaging. So I'm gonna do like I normally do in my review videos. We'll look at the packaging, we'll talk about the pricing, we'll look at some swatches, I'll talk about just the formula, and then just give you my overall thoughts and impressions on this palette. So let's get into it. Okay, so you already saw the outside packaging. As far as the actual palette, it is just a really pretty, rose gold but just super reflective. I just don't want to blind you because if that reflects back the lights, it's bad news. So it is a really like cute idea. Like I think rose gold is so pretty but just reflective packaging is pretty when you first get it but then you get a few fingerprints on it and then it just kind of looks a little bit nasty. So I like it in concept but in actual like use and functionality it looks kind of dirty. So that's not my first choice. So the packaging is so-so as far as like the reflective look to it, but the size of it I think is really good. It's a nice, um, pretty compact sort of a palette. It's really similar to these, the Forever Nude, and then I also have the Forever Smoky. So it's that kind of like smaller compact sort of a palette, but not super duper tiny, kind of in between. And as far as what you get in here, you do get some eyeshadows, you get nine eyeshadows, and then you do get two face products. So it's a nice palette for travel because you've got some eye products and some face products all in one here, so that's really nice. And this has a very kind of like summery feel to me. It came out kind of like late summer, so it has a very summery feel. So I think it would have been cool if it came out, you know, in like, I don't know, late spring or early summer because I feel like I would have been like really excited about these colors that time of year. But they are really pretty shades, um, kind of more of like a warm, beachy feeling sort of palette, bronzy colors, golden colors, and it has a really fun blue right here. So really cute packaging, really fun collection of colors. We'll get into swatches in a second. As far as pricing, it's really just gonna depend on what kind of a sale BH Cosmetics has going on at the time, but anywhere from like, 10 to $15 or so. I got it around $10, so super duper affordable. Really quickly before we get into swatches, I wanted to show you the inside of one of the other palettes. So this is the Forever Nude. So you can see these come with six eyeshadows, a face highlight, two blushes, and then two lip products, which I really don't like the lip products included in these because it makes me crazy when there are lip products or cream products of any kind included with powder products in a palette. It just, sends shivers up my spine. <laughs> I don't know why companies do that. It just, they get dirty and yucky looking and I never use them and they dry out quickly. And so I just really don't like that these are included in these two palettes. So I really like that in the Bronze Paradise, you don't have any cream products. So no cream products. Um, you do get one less um, face sort of product because you get the two blushes and a highlight in here versus two face products over there. And then you get three more shadows in the Bronze Paradise versus six in this one. So that's a little comparison there. Okay, so here are the swatches. So this is the first row of the palette. This is the second row of the palette. This is the third row. And these are the two face products. Of course, I called in Tawny to be my, not only my lip liner today, but also my pointer, and she happily obliged because Tawny just never lets us down. You know what I mean? So, back to the swatches. I think they're all really pretty. Um, they all swatch well. They are powdery, so they do kick up product in the pan and um, like in a swatch, they just, um, and they'll give a little bit of fallout on your face. They just do kick up a lot of product. So they are powdery, but they're pigmented. So powdery, but pigmented. Um, this one right here is a little bit of a problem shadow. It's pretty chunky. It's a really pretty coppery shade. It looks gorgeous in the pan, but it's just kind of chunky. So I did use it today, but I used it with MAC Fix Plus to help it out a little bit. So that one, kind of beware of that one. Um, this one doesn't show up super well on my skin, but it's kind of like a pretty, like, 
I don't know, light peach color. It's really close to my skin tone color, so that's why it's not really showing up. These shimmers are all beautiful. Those are absolutely gorgeous. I would say those are the winners of the palette. Beautiful. But I also really like the face products. I think they're really pretty. That highlight is gorgeous, and that bronzer is really pretty too. It's pretty much a satin, um, and it is a pretty warm-toned bronzer. So that's Another reason I kind of say this seems like a summery feeling sort of a palette. So it just has a warmth to it. And this bronzer is the same way. It just has a little bit of a warm tone. Um, just kind of a summery sort of a vibe to me. So yeah, there are all the swatches. Then as far as the formula goes on these and just my overall impression on this palette, you know, I already mentioned these do have some fallout. So you will get some fallout and just kind of powdery kick up in the pan and then some fallout on your face. Um, but that's not super uncommon, so that's not a deal breaker for me personally, but just an FYI, they are a little bit powdery, but they're also pigmented. I found them easy to work with. I think they look really nice together. I think they look nice on the eyes. Um, I did have a little bit of fading throughout the day, but you know, I was thinking about it and honestly, most every shadow fades on me, at least a little bit throughout the day. I was trying to think about it and really honestly, Probably just my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette is the only palette I can think of, think of off the top of my head that really doesn't fade hardly at all throughout the day. But most everything does just a little bit at least. And this was fading just a little bit. I did wear these with a primer. I always wear a primer, no matter if I'm using the most high end, you know, super duper fancy eyeshadow or super duper affordable. I always wear a primer. So. Wearing a primer with these, I would suggest a primer. I really like the face products. I think they blend well. I think they look really nice on the skin, wear well throughout the day. I didn't really notice those fading. Um, so overall, I really like this palette. I think for around, you know, 10 to $15 or so, I think it's a great value. I think it's a fun palette. Is it an absolute must have? I think that kind of depends on what you're looking for and what you already have in your collection. You know, if you've already got neutral palettes, if you've got warm tone neutral palettes, golden shades, coppery shades, just neutral warm colors, you probably have most of these um, shadows and even face products that are in this palette. But if you don't, or if you are looking for another palette that's kind of a warm toned neutral palette with a little fun pop of blue thrown in there, I think you would really like it. And it's a great price point. I really like BH Cosmetics. I think they have some really fun, nice products and I love their price point. So overall, I'm really enjoying this palette. I think it's a nice one. I think it's good quality as far as if you need it or want it, that's just gonna depend on your personal preference, what you already have in your collection and what you're looking for. All right guys, so that's my overall review on the BH Cosmetics Bronze Paradise palette. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. Please hit a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below what you are thinking about this palette if you've picked it up and you've been playing with it, what do you think about it? Or what are some of your other favorite products from BH Cosmetics? I'm always looking to try new things from their brand, so I'd love to know some of your favorites. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!